all in my business. Uh, you be all in your feelings. Uh, I've been all in them trenches. Uh, I've been all in my bag. Uh, you be all in my business. Uh, no, they notice me flexing. Uh, fit in all in my fitness. Uh, I've been all in my bag. Uh, you been all in my business. Uh, Look at this. <laughs> this is the Canon RP with a 24 to 240 mil lens. It is incredible for vlogging, and the RP, especially because it's mirrorless, shoots 24 FPS, you can shoot up to 60 FPS. We've got some videos on the RP on the channel. I'm gonna link them up here, but this video is not about a mirrorless camera. This video is a case for the camcorder. This is the Canon XA40 at 50 frames a second. The XA40 is one of Canon's premier video cameras. And we forget this a lot as content creators that there are cameras that aren't DSLRs and aren't mirrorless cameras, which are primarily designed for photography that Canon produce, especially for video. These are camcorders. But why do so many content creators like ourselves that focus on video opt in to get mirrorless cameras and DSLR as well? I think there's a case to be had for camcorders because they focus on video, they can be used in a lot of use cases which the mirrorless cameras can't, and they're reasonably priced. So, hear me out. The XA40 is one of Canon's premium camcorders. There's a whole bunch in the XA range that I highly recommend that you check out. And if you are a gaming content creator, I'll get into it a little bit, uh, a little bit deeper later as to why this might be the camera for you. Before we get into the pros and cons and footage from our test case, let's take a look at the features. It has two phantom powered XLR inputs plus the onboard 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Each of these can be recorded separately onto the SD cards for better control in post. It's 4K UHD at 29.97 FPS or 23.98 FPS and 1080p at 59.94 FPS. It has a detachable handle with the audio on it, which gives you the control to change the size of the camera if the handle isn't needed for a particular shoot. It also has a detachable shotgun mic clip for better audio options and gear compatibility. The XA40 has slow motion recording times 0.5 and 0.4 times at 29 FPS and 24 FPS respectively and fast motion recording at times 2, 4, 10, 20, 60, 120, 600 and 1200 times. This means that the camera can capture the frames and play them back in the new modified playback rate. This apparently helps retain maximum image quality, something that's not necessarily needed for YouTube. For, for news of course and films and documentaries this is super welcome. But for enthusiasts I suggest just filming at 50 FPS on board and slowing it down in Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. The Canon XA40 supports dual card recording and relay recording so you won't lose your footage if your card suddenly malfunctions. You gotta get that shot, especially if you're catching anything that's news related. Or if you're doing like a massive collab with another content creator and you can't lose that footage. Happened to me before. It has a 20 times optical zoom, not digital, to get some incredible shots from a distance or without having to attach a separate lens. This is one of the joys of camcorders, knowing that you'll get the shot without having to search your kit for an appropriate lens. It's great low light and the inclusion of infrared in either green or white to capture in neat near extreme dark is something that DSLRs and mirrorless cameras typically don't have. And lastly, I think it's important to mention, and I'll get into it a little bit later on in the video, is the incredible amount of inputs and outputs which can really push your creativity and solve problems on shoot easily. You've got an HDMI output, it's got HDMI mini connector, composite video output, 3.5 millimeter, and a USB high speed terminal. And as I've mentioned earlier before, when it comes to audio, it's got two XLR audio inputs that are attached to the, to the handle, a microphone input, 3.5 millimeter jack, and a headphone uh, jack so that you can monitor your audio. Also, 3.5 millimeter jack. So we filmed at a basketball court and the footage that we got was very cinematic. Because of the 35 millimeter equivalent of 29 to 601 millimeter zoom range, I found that when recording skateboarding or the basketball that the further I got away from the subject and zoomed in, the more dramatic it felt. I try to get objects in the foreground to give the subject more context, you know, like stuff in the, in the skate park, like rails and stuff, which is just a film technique. Filming in these open spaces really helps create these big sprawling dramatic shots and uh, if you ever watched a Michael Bay film, he does that a lot in Bad Boys for instance, just big open spaces. It's, it's amazing. Look, I'm not saying that I'm Michael Bay, but also at the same time, 
pretty happy not to be him. The record lock, sorry if you're watching this, you'll never watch it, but if you are. The record lock that's on the handle comes in handy because when you're shooting action shots, there are two points on the camera that have recording buttons, and those are two points of failure that you could accidentally touch and switch off the recording. I'm super happy with the skateboarding shots, although I relied a lot on the LCD display for framing, which is something that I shouldn't have really done in broad daylight, but with a bit more experience, I think I would have got much better shots. The grips were something that, coming from a videographer, on DSLR and mirrorless was new and welcoming. Handles on a device emphasize tactility, something that Steve Jobs understood when he, uh, when he built the G3 Mac. I don't know if you guys remember it. He put a handle on the top. It was very expensive, nearly went made Apple bankrupt, but it separated Apple from a bunch of these beige boxes that other computer companies were doing. It made computers fun and usable. I felt very comfortable holding the camera close to the ground, switching up angles a lot higher or lower without the fear of dropping the device. I think this plays into one of the primary functions of it being a news camera, and you're probably gonna be throwing it into scary situations all the time, so having a good grip on it is always important. The audio was incredible, and I honestly think this is one of the standout features. The XA40 and the rest of the XA range have multiple XLR audio inputs, the handle of course I used a regular lapel mic that connected into the 34 millimeter slot on the body of the XA40 and the sound of the location was really clear right now we're using a shotgun mic into the same input but let's have a look at that audio from the clip one of the best places that I can think of to test the Canon XA40 is at like a sports arena of some kind and the best one that I can get and I think it's one of the best ones in Cape Town is the one here at the waterfront. There's a skate park, there's some basketball. Remember, we're contending with skaters audio that's happening all around us, basketball, bounces, people shouting, there's wind, we're outside, it's Cape Town wind, and uh, there's just a lot of noise. So I'm pretty impressed with the outcome. The downsides from our test shoot was the image stabilization. It's nitpicky, but I'd like to have better stabilization for the type of action shoot that we were doing specifically. That said, here's what we managed to stabilize in post. And now it's time for the gamers. If you're a gamer, this might be the camera that you wanna get. It's got an HDMI out that pushes a clean signal. That means it doesn't have any of the uh, stuff overlay over it at 1080p, 60 FPS. This is excellent for streaming and capturing on a local machine. If you own an Elgato Camlink, you can turn the XA40 into one of the most powerful front-facing cameras your setup has ever seen. This opens up more options than just live streaming games. Because of the audio inputs, you're able to stream using the XLR or 3.5 millimeter jack to get audio directly into your setup. There's no need for separate audio mixers. Just built, it's just built straight up right there into the handle. You can use multiple audio sources, so recording a podcast with guests or needing a high quality camera on a wide means that stuff like conferencing or company webinars can look and sound as good as television. And even if you're just recording, you can use free Elgato software like OBS and the Elgato Camlink to record directly to your PC without a recording limit. If you guys want a video that goes a little bit deeper into that side of it, I'm really keen to make it. Just let me know uh, in the comments below. I think it's really important that you see the benefits of the XA40 with the Camlink. Uh, and if you watch my streams, by the way, twitch.tv forward slash Grant Hines, you will see the camera quality for yourself. This just opens up a lot of doors for content creators. So who should get one? Well, this has been a very enlightening lesson in teaching myself what is the right setup for you and what can you save money on in your whole setup? This might sound redundant, but camcorders are cameras designed for video production. And in a world full of incredible DSLRs and mirrorless cameras like the Canon RP, we often forget about them. But most enthusiast content creators can't afford massive amounts of kit. An excellent typical end user for the Canon XA40 is the person who is solely focused on video, needs something, pick up and go, and isn't interested in stocking up on separate lenses or spending extra on their kit. If you're a gamer and need a camera for your YouTube videos and live streams, a camcorder like the XA40 with its wide range of settings, mic choices, and variety of use cases might make it a better choice for your video content. This isn't for photographers, and if you can't afford both a stills camera and a video camera, and your focus is video production, then give the XA40 some of your attention. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Grant. I hope you had a really, I hope you learned a lot. This is one of these videos which uh, will be divisive and people have a lot of opinions. I want to know what you think in the comments below. I often think camcorders are really overlooked and I'm really grateful that we were able to make a video like this. Uh, if you guys are thinking about picking up the XA40 or any one of the range, I'm going to include a link in the description so that you guys can have a look at it a little bit more in depth and do some research. Go have a look at some reviews around the internet. I'll see you guys in another video. Cheers.